If you don't know the following things, then now's a great time to learn. So unfortunately, this bunker has been nerfed. Now it hasn't been patched completely, it's not as strong as it once was, but I'll show you how you could still use it in your builds. At least a variation of it. So you used to be able to open this from the outside, but now we get an error. The good news is, you can still open it from the inside as normal, so it's still usable as is. But the whole point of building up this exact configuration was the ability to open it from both sides. Now the best thing to build is this version, which was always outshined because you could never open it from the outside. This one opens from the inside like it always did, but since both versions only open from the inside now, the build cost is the determining factor. The first one costs 239 HQM and 1875 metal to build. This one costs 189 HQM and 875 metal, making it cheaper to build. It's actually way smaller and easier to build, making it the clear winner. I know some people will ask, so I'm going to show you how to build this quickly and then we'll move on. Start with the 1x1 one one with a frame, eventually for a garage door. All of the important stuff goes in here. Your TC, boxes, and a very important sleeping bag. You can build that up any way you like as long as there is a sleeping bag in it. For the bunker, we'll build this square and we want a raised triangle foundation on either side with a full wall on the opposite side. Above the raised foundation, we'll want to build half walls with all of the soft sides facing in so it looks like this. We'll put a top on the entrance and the roof bunker goes right below it here. To open it, grab a triangle roof and place it on the side with the raised foundation. This allows you to get in and out. Keep in mind the first time you log on, you'll have to open this from the inside. So spawn on this bag or you can simply log off in this room. This bunker can be left open while you leave your base by adding a trap in this corner. Aim it toward the gap in the roof. This is so that if anyone without TC Priv tries to get in, the trap will go off and break the twig which will close the bunker. The strength of this bunker is equal to the material that you build it out of, and the whole idea is to upgrade it to HQM and sheet metal the same way you see here. This makes it 15 rockets from all directions. Long gone are the days where us base builders have to figure out where to place that darn level 2. Since they are so hard to break, they're basically considered a permanent placement and would often become a pain to deal with. But not anymore. With a build hammer, you can simply pick up all three workbenches now. This is absolutely one of my favorite changes to the game. The only way this doesn't work is if you're actively building blocked, like here. This does mean that you can also pick them up from areas that do not have a TC present, like this. The next thing has to do with multi-TC bases. After your core, you do the build back from the externals and you end up with honeycomb something like this. Most people will just build a roof next and kind of leave the gaps. In most builds, this actually makes the raid way easier. The best way to seal this is actually by first adding frames on one TC and floors on the other. They can occupy the same space since they have different sockets. You do have this very small gap, but let's say for instance you build this loot room on top. Now you can't even see it, let alone exploit it. Whereas if you build it the other way, you can actually splash the loot room doors and the core by aiming through it. That's pretty much why this way is bad. Keep in mind when using this technique there are two sockets, so there are two options. You can place the frame on either the left socket or the right socket, then place the floor on the opposite one. This will vary depending on exactly how you're designing your base. Now brace yourself, your super efficient multi-TC base setup is most likely trash. Here's why. The gaps are always there. If you look at all multi-TC setups, you can see that the entire outer shell is completely sealed, right? Wrong. The new textures are very deceiving in a sense of they sometimes put pixels in places where hitboxes aren't. In multi-TC bases, it comes down to this corner texture. When you place the two walls on each side of this gap like this, the gap gets covered but you can still get a rocket through it pretty easily. These setups are usually built to give you inner peak downs for advantage in an online raid, which is fair, but this does weaken the base significantly. Most people would calculate the wall raid cost at 16 rockets here. 4 rockets for each of these 4 stone walls, which seems right, but it just isn't. I can aim the first 4 rockets through the gap, breaking all of these walls. Then I can aim 4 more and break all of these walls. I just got into the core for half of 16 rockets. The only way to avoid this is by strategically placing these gaps and adding extra honeycomb to your core where the gaps are. This will increase the size of the footprint a lot, often changing the very core design. This also adds a ton of building cost. Now don't get me wrong here. Multi-TC bases are still very, very good. Just be careful of exactly how you design yours. So I'm guessing you all have seen this before. It's a pretty neat trick since most raiders simply won't account for it. 
The idea is that once you raid the window in TC, you'll have to spend the rockets to break the floor since the loot drops to the bottom. I've seen many people try to place a bag in here, which I believe is just impossible. Either way, we have the beach towel now, which can easily be placed in there like so. Once you place it, wait for the timer, and you can spawn right next to the loot inside. This basically means that this concept is pointless now, unless they have externals that block you placing anything in the first place. So that's a couple of things that are recent, and kinda recent, useful, and kinda useful. That's gonna be all for me for now though, thank you very much for watching, see ya! As my gaming experience nonchalantly teases their next base build.